Well, since we're reading today, hmm. well, Leo and Aquarius, you came out together. That's interesting. Okay, so I will do Aquarius. Aqua, you are up. Okay. Where was I going first? Oh, yeah, here we are. And my Age of Aquarius deck. Remember to flip the rolls, okay? I try to be general, but sometimes I get carried away and I just start blaming people that <laughs> shouldn't be blamed. It's just the Leo in me, okay? <laughs> Maybe it's the Libra too, I don't know. Hmm. I don't actually realize I have a lot more Libra in me than I thought. It all depends. Like some, some birth charts, they just don't, they're all different, it seems, but like all kind of similar. I don't know. Okay, Aquarius, what's going on in your energy right now? What's going on in Aquarius? Is, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot, Aquarius. Of course, of course. Okay. I guess I'll, do I have to take this all? Okay. Oh, that's why. Okay. Of course, your energy is currently very scattered, okay? I feel like you need to organize something, okay? Um, there's a need for you to be very grateful right now, and there's forward movement. I, I, it's impossible to take all of the spirit because this is just going to be a forever reading if I do that, but there's a need for you to release attachments to things that no longer serve you. These are things that don't make you feel good. Um, they don't any sort of energy within you that keeps you stuck or held back from um, going you know, forward in your true purpose here, there's something you need to let go of because whatever this was, was no longer serving you anyway. It's a negative behavior either on your end or someone else's end. If there's someone in your energy currently like, ah, like at you in a negative way, it's going to thus push you into a further negative pattern, Okay. Scattered energy. And that is where the scattered energy comes from because it's like you're not able to kind of sit down with yourself and let yourself be the way you like to be. Okay. Discovery. Um, there's going to be a new opportunity coming in. Okay. You're going to be receiving. It's like some sort of knowledge I'm getting and a brand new beginning here is this is like great energy to have at the end. Um, this card is putting you on notice that a change is at hand. It may feel like things are falling apart. Okay. Your energy is being cleared, Aquarius, right now. And and it's so that you're able to, like, pick what you... You can even... Like, okay, so even with this energy being cleared, you're being emptied, right? Even with this happening, if there's something that you want to hold on to, you're allowed to hold on to it. It's your life. You know what I mean? So right now that thing could maybe be not here, but it's okay for you to go and get it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying like whatever it was, was cleared out and, and it's kind of, okay. So Eckhart Tolle, uh, Tolle, Tolle, whatever his name is, he kind of mentioned this, uh, in one of his things. He said, okay, like, let's say you went, um, and you bought a vase because you thought it was be beautiful or something, right? So you, you buy the vase, you bring it home. Then next thing you know, your entire, like someone comes in and, and steals the vase. And then at that point, when the vase is gone, okay, you can finally realize whether or not you actually liked the vase or not. Do you actually miss the vase or did you just kind of like it at the time? Okay. That's what I'm getting. So it's like, I'm kind of getting someone that a lot of things being cleared out and you're trying and right now is the time for you to be like, okay, I actually did like that one thing. I'm going to bring that back. Um, I don't like this. I really, I don't miss this at all. Uh, I'm going to just leave that there. Okay. You know, it's kind of like this. You're, you're being allowed to like reorganize your life. <laughs> so you could be feeling kind of like, well, what the hell? Like, what is, where did everyone go? What's, what's going on here? Spirit is allowing you to have space right now so you can decide what it is that you want, what serves your purpose, what makes you feel good, what doesn't make you feel good. And this could be even like your own behaviors, okay? So you can even be kind of like at a weird standstill where you're like not really feeling much, 
you know, and you're kind of like at this, well, why aren't I feeling anything? <laughs> um, or maybe there are things that you do feel things for and you, you miss them and you want them back. So yeah, the alchemist. God, this is so exciting when this happens. Divine transformation, the alchemist, a visionary. You're meant for some sort of higher purpose here, Aquarius. And this is, I'm going to read this real, real quick, um, or at least some, so we can get some clues about what this means. So something could be happening in the winter. Um, this is universal chakra. I don't even know what, the, know what the heck that means, but anyway, divine. Okay. Yes. There's no reversal to this. And the mantra is I transfigure introspection. Am I ready to implement the wisdom and skills I've acquired throughout my life and cultivate a new path for myself? I have the skills, wisdom, and knowledge to divinely um, transform my life. The light is breaking away from illusionary systems of control, moving towards which is divinely calling you, taking chances, and blazing new trails. And the shadow part of this, you could be realizing uh, the fear of embracing one's true power, making moves that only yield short-term gratification, manipulation of the environment to achieve one's goals at the cost of other successes. Okay, as much as I love Aquariuses, okay, as much as I love you guys, I'm just going to tell you some like straight up stuff right now. And, you know, feel free to tell me how much Leo stuck. That's fine. But <laughs> Aquariuses, um, like I said, I love you, but sometimes you guys get stuck in your head and you do like to kind of manipulate things from the outside um, to kind of protect yourself. It's more of like a protection defensive move than anything else. Okay. Um, you, it's like the, the control factor of, of being in control of yourself, you know, and Kind of, and I'm not saying it, it just reminded me of that shadow side thing. So there's you could need to release control of something. You could need to start pushing yourself into like uncomfortable territory. Okay. Whatever you do that though, it's going to really help you. Okay. What's coming in the future for Aquarius? What's coming in the future? Three of Cups, Two of Cups. Woo, damn, Aquarius. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just gonna say, you have some massive celebration coming in. Um, for some of you, <laughs> multiple women involved, but uh, for other others of you where that doesn't resonate, I'm getting, there's a, a love here. There's a very deep, heart connection to someone. Okay. This is a very spiritual union. This is a very happy, happy thing. <laughs> uh, hold on. I want to get four of wands, divine coupling. All right. I don't know if you know this, but, or you probably already know who this is. I, I would hope so. You either have a high level soulmate coming in or you're already connected to someone who is, you know, they're your, like your person. You absolutely a hundred percent. There's like really no question about it. This is what spirit is preparing you for. It's like, it's like you're being prepared for, um, some sort of serious relationship. Okay. There's also like another energy around you though, this Empress in reverse. Um, this is a little bit of a, a neurotic person that causes you to be exhausted. Yeah. Six of wands reverse. This is a very self serving egotistical asshole. Basically. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, all right. So who's, um, who is this person that Aquarius, uh, has the three of cups, two of cups, four of wands with. <laughs> okay. So we got Capricorn energy here. Some of you could uh, kind of feel, I don't know if you feel obsessed with this person or this person feels obsessed with you. And this can happen kind of when you have such a crazy soul connection. And like the devil card in this instance, isn't really giving me anything terrible. Cause it's with the seven of pearls. It's kind of like telling me this is here to stay 
<laughs> whether whether you like it or not. Like, and I'm getting you do like it. I'm not even getting the or not. So it's kind of like the devil card could also be a little bit of a kinky connection here. Um, that's kind of how I see that as well. This is a very authentic connection. This is something that, yeah, Galactic Souls. This is uh, Twin Flame, like 100%. Like, I don't even know what, to, what else to say right now. Like, this is just a really beautiful connection. You guys both probably have a lot of options, too. I'm just, like, I'm getting... So why is this coming out in the energy for Aquarius right now? What do they need to know about this? The Fool, Leap of Faith. Go towards it, Aquarius. There's no question here. It's it's good to go. <laughs> Spirit's like, okay, go on, go ahead. It's, it's You're good. So this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning for you. I don't know if you've recently had to let go of someone else, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so there could be some like weird family member in your background that's like causing issues. I feel like they're being almost like stopped or held back at this time with the judgment card here. Hold on, I'll see I'll show you how this came in. So it's like I see some sort of possible like family member here. With the Ten of Pearls in reverse, the King of Pearls in reverse, this person is very materialistic and self-indulgent. They're being like, it's it's like you see this judgment card. I feel like judgment is being cast on them and they're almost being stopped from stopping you, if that makes sense. Like you're being protected right now. The Hanged Woman in reverse. This could be something that you were questioning like not to do. Um, like you weren't moving with it. What's this? Four of Pearls. Protection. Yeah, this is all protected. Um, okay, so let's get a, an Oracle card. I'm not getting this as a no contact situation, Aquarius, so I'm not even going to bother with those messages because I keep peeking up. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo because you and Leo came out together. It's funny. Okay, um... Here we go. Okay. All right. What is uh, some advice for Aqua right now? Ooh, Mother Nature. So can I? What am I doing? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Not this book. I have too many books. See, this is what I feel like you're like right now. I'm getting a very like, what is this? What I need to just like all these things. I have all of them. And I feel like there's like a lot of like, what the fuck is going on in your energy? Because <laughs> that's how I feel right now. I'm just like, uh, it's like, it's, you could be feeling like randomly excited about something. Like, you know, something's coming in. You know that there's something interesting happening in your life, right? Where are you card? Okay. Every living being is a force, even the smallest insect. It takes time to get close to nature itself and let her hold you. It takes time to understand. Time and nature aligns my channels and guides me towards the most honest path. I go to reunion with the original Mother Earth. She has always been here to nourish, hydrate, oxy oxygenate, and sustain me. I put my bare feet on the ground, bow down, and honor uh, the beauty of which sustains me for everything has been given to me. Yeah. So you could, uh, you know, it could be very helpful for you to go out and to ground yourself. I don't know where you live, but if you're like me, I'm not going out. Well, actually, I take it back. I have gone outside in the snow and put my bare feet in the snow. It was actually quite nice. <laughs> um, it was kind of painful, but <laughs> um, maybe, maybe you need to do that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Have a nice day. Bye.